Hello, my name is Denny. This is my plant-based journey and today I'm going to make another cheese sauce. After my last video I had uh, several people tell me that there are others that I ought to try. And so I'm going to try a few from uh, uh, the probably once or twice over the next couple of weeks uh, until I get through a few of these and then I'll try to tell you my opinions of them. Now I'm not going to make Simnet Nutrition's uh, cheese sauce today to compare these two because I've already made it, I know what it tastes like, and uh, I know that I enjoy it. I think it's more of the dip than the sauce, uh, but I wanted to try this one. This one was highly recommended. I had heard of it before. I had just never made it. And so I thought I'd do it today, and that's Jill's. Jill's Game Changing Cheese Sauce. If you haven't seen it before, she has uh, several recipes, a couple of versions of this cheese sauce and other things that she makes with the cheese sauce. And in fact, it's my understanding, I watched a video of her uh, yesterday and uh, she is going to be writing a cookbook using her cheese sauce. Now her cheese sauce I, I know is good because I've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of reviews but I thought I'd try it if you haven't seen it before go over to her website or her YouTube channel and you can see that uh, you can buy some of her cookbooks um, she has some instant pot cookbooks I have it I haven't used it yet uh, but I wanted to share this recipe so here's what you do and and uh, I just put it all in the uh, uh, Vitamix pitcher uh, just a moment ago that way we're ready to go and we don't just uh, kill time uh, watching me pour out two cups of something okay so here we go two cups of rolled oats half a cup of nutritional yeast a quarter cup of cornstarch two teaspoons of onion granules two teaspoons of sea salt uh, one 12 ounce jar of roasted red peppers with water they have to be in water and you put the liquid and the peppers in it um, and then one uh, let's see one tablespoon of lemon juice and a quarter teaspoon of pecan or apple liquid smoke. And now I have mesquite or hickory, I put mesquite. Uh, I didn't have apple and I didn't have pecan and I wasn't gonna buy another one. And then uh, four cups of warm water. You put it in your blender, you blend it for about five minutes and it will thicken and it will uh, become this cheese sauce. So here's my Vitamix. Uh, I'm going to put this together and uh, hopefully I don't make a huge mess everywhere. Put on my lid. I have another pitcher that I should have used that's bigger than this one, but this is the one I use all the time, so I just grabbed it. Um, all right, here we go. It's going to get loud. Let me just pulse it first. All right, I'm going to cook it for five or six minutes. By the way, if you didn't know, this will cook uh, just like um, you probably saw the earlier recipe where I made the marinara sauce all I did was put my a tomato sauce and uh, use it as a starter I added the other ingredients I wanted for the marinara and then I turned it on for about five minutes and it was hot and ready to go so I'm gonna do the same thing here it'll be five or six minutes and I'll have cheese sauce so here we go All right, so it got uh, really fast and really hard, and you could tell that it was straining. It was getting really loud, and so I shut it off just now. I know that it is done, and uh, you can see through the picture that the color is uh, pretty orange here. And I'm gonna open this up. Oh yeah, you see the steam? Can you, can you see that steam? I don't know if you can. Oh, it smells good. So, I'm gonna have tacos or tostados or whatever you want to have but uh, I've got a baked tortilla uh, corn tortilla I've got some beans and rice that I make with my instant pot that you've seen that recipe I've got some cauliflower taco that I made uh, tonight I've got some salsa that I made you see that video some avocado and to that I'm going to have a little bit of this cheese sauce. Oh, wow. That looks like thick, rich cheese sauce. That's awesome. 
All right, let's try it on our meal. Oh yeah. And then I, I made some corn on the cob also. So a hearty, healthy meal tonight. You know what? Rather than taking a bite of that, let me just use a piece of that tortilla. Wow. Okay, I like Simnet Nutrition's and I will use that for dips, for uh, sides and things along those lines. This is a new winner. This is incredible. I'm gonna tell you what, you could serve this at a luncheon or at a family get together. Nobody would even know that it's not cheese. That is unreal. Listen, you need to go try this for yourself. Don't trust me. Go try it for yourself. This is awesome. What an incredible recipe. Talk about making mac and cheese or slapping it on pizza or some enchiladas or... I'm gonna have it on tacos. You know what? I'm gonna eat. You guys, go make this for yourself. But right now it's time for me to chow down. I'm gonna have this and I hope you'll try this. Jill did an, an absolutely fantastic job. She knocked it out of the park. Go try this. You're gonna love it. All right, my name's Denny. This is my plant-based journey. I'm gonna eat some tacos, some tostados, and some cheese. All right, we'll see you. Good night.